South Korea says the North could be selling weapons to Hamas and the militant group might have used those arms against Israel. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff says artillery shells found near the Israeli border were likely exported from North Korea. Officials made the assessment after analyzing images and videos of Hamas's attacks on Israel. South Korea identified North Korean weapons, including 122 mm artillery shells, rather, which had the marking Bang 122, suggesting the same ammunition used by Pyongyang's military. Seoul also warned that the North could use Hamas's tactics to launch a surprise attack on South Korea. Pyongyang has dismissed allegations that its weapons have been used by Hamas against Israel. South Korea believes the North has been exporting arms to Middle Eastern countries. North Korea has supported Hamas and described Israel's response as ceaseless criminal actions. The United States says it is deeply concerned with what North Korea could be getting in exchange for its alleged weapons delivery to Russia. Mr. Sung Kim made those comments after a meeting with his Japanese and South Korean counterparts in Jakarta. This is all the more important given the very worrying developments in the DPRK-Russia relationship. As many of you are aware, the United States confirmed on October 13th what we had been warning publicly. The DPIK has delivered arms to Russia for use in Ukraine. This development is in addition to the confirmed November 2022 delivery of weapons to the Kremlin-backed Wagner Group. North Korea's provision of military equipment and munitions to Russia and the transfer of certain nuclear or, or missile-related technology between Russia and North Korea constitute a blatant violation of UN Security Council resolutions. It seriously threatens our, our security too. We will keep working together in our response. We strongly condemn North Korea for completely disregarding the Security Council resolutions that prohibit its nuclear and ballistic missile development and strongly urge North Korea to comply with the obligations set forth by the collective will of the international community. This trilateral meeting is taking place days after Washington accused the North of providing Russia with a large shipment of weapons. It also said the suspected arms transaction was an indication of expanded military relationship between the two nations. Russia has so far rejected the claims, saying there was no proof of the arms transaction. Its foreign minister is expected to visit the reclusive nation this week.